すべての動きでしたもう誰も止めることはできずここで終わらせるのだ貴様の野望もこれで Yo yo Tekken and Gaming What is good? Chillin chillin about to play this fantastic game and maybe some others I don't know we'll see we'll see where it go up oh, the cameras that way it needs to be this way and also I didn't even put up my lights and we off to a great start I need to get my lights going Just that. Yeah. Cool. We got that going. Awesome. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Coolio. What's burning? Well, if you haven't seen it already, Tekken 8 is a bit on fire right now. And what I mean by that is they had a recent patch which pretty much killed a lot of things as you see on Twitter things acting out of whack uh, yeah just a whole bunch of bad things are happening over in Tekken 8 but luckily for me I threw the game away uh, last week so I don't have to be the ones that's that is suffering so what that means is I'm free to play whatever I wish or if I don't want to play anything at all it could be a talking thing but I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna wait till I get really into the streaming thing before I start doing the like talking stuff because you can't just sit here you can't just sit here like with the camera and you just sitting there uh, people's attention spans are quite uh, waning honestly all right what's this you know what's up c5 my dude august 12 2036 the heat death of the universe they're in the walls they are in wh what <laughs> they are in they are in the walls they are in the walls what is that i feel like you quoted something but i'm not sure what it was was that a rat thing? They're in the walls. They're in the walls. They're in the walls. But, yeah, bro. Like, Tekken 8 is on fire, and I knew this would happen. I knew it would happen. I wasn't happy with the game for a long time now, because it felt bad. And now everyone, like, piece by piece, is, like, throwing it away, which is freaking hilarious. I'm going to accept this Wi-Fi. AI Squidward going, she's so... AI Squidward. Tekken 9? Yep. I don't even think there's going to be a Tekken 9. That would be madness if they did. Hey, Hachi is coming back. Oh my god. Hey, remember this character? No, because Azusena ate her and, like, drank her blood. 
wait, one has to come before the other. She beat her to death, poured coffee down her throat, and then drank her blood. Yeah, there we go. Lucky Chloe. God, and then looking at, um, seeing Eddie stuff on Twitter, apparently it's easy for him to do stuff and it looks very boring. I'm like, oh my god. Man, I don't even care. Dude, Azucena is a psychopath for sure. Oh. I, whoa, my combo didn't... Oh, no, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Ready to Oh, why did you jump? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, remember this? The low parry? That got screwed in Tekken 8? Yeah, I missed that. Oh. Ah, they always do that. Hit the wall. Bang, bang, boom. Oh. Oh my god, Josie, you're so perfect. A bing, bang, boom. Rage art? Dang it. Because of Tekken 8, I always expect, expect people to jump up and do a freaking rage art. We're gonna do. Oh, I didn't expect that to counter hit. To be quite. Boy, what the. Oh no. <laughs> Finish. What are you doing, my man? Nice block. Oh. Press a button. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. A hey, nice uh, thing there. Okay, that was chaotic. <laughs> was... No, I didn't mean to. Okay, well, he's gone anyway. Let's go, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tekken in gaming. Can you imagine a first Dan on Tekken 7? Just imagine this is his first time playing the game. someone on a discord if ooh, look someone that is not wi-fi oh never mind i was trying to get someone to play uh tekken 7 in a discord server but it's the same dude and i don't want to play the uh, same dude again well you know wanted to test myself again no i ain't playing the same dude again maybe another time How y'all doing, man? Oh god. Hey, remember this thing? I don't. Ooh. Anna, bro? Anna? Ew. Get it, and it's so funny because people want her in Tekken 8. Are you insane? Are you insane? This woman was madness in this game. Can you imagine in the next? Her sister's already wreaking havoc. Can you imagine? Oh no, I don't want to imagine that. I don't like them both, so. Come over here. Oh, nice intro, bro. Fight. Oh boy. Oh god, I'm I'm getting reminded why I hate this character. <laughs> Nice armor. Oh no, buddy. Did you just teabag, bro? Don't teabag. That's weird. You can't even teabag right. Can do you see this? Oh boy. I mean, honestly, if you beat me, that's fine. Oh no. Can't break throws. 
nice. Oh no. Nice combo. Eww. He's beating me to death. Oh, nice. Very nice. Don't have to do that, though. He won't rematch because, you know, Ana players, they don't do that. Oh, he does. Okay. Cool. So, when I beat you, don't get mad, okay? So, you got an idea. What do you say we make a spiritual successor to Tekken 7 ourselves? Make an indie call. Ah, ah, ooh. That's crazy. Um, I wouldn't be any good at making games. But know somebody you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know what, what could be better than just playing you know tekken or some other fighter oh no i can't break these throws Oh yes, Hell Sweeps, Hell Sweeps, you can't do anything else, Hell Sweeps, yeah. Fight. Nice launch for no reason, oh yes, mashing and switch dance, that's what I'm talking about. That's not punishable? Oh yes. Wow. Fuck. You just need the money? That's crazy. <laughs> Don't we all? Huh? Hey, nice sweep. I probably should start ducking. Because this guy can't. Oh no. Yeah, you see? He does sweeps when he can't uh, fight me normally. That's usually how it goes. See? And that's kind of how Tekken 8 is, too. I can never break that. I hit her in the butt, bro. Oh, yes. Did you see that damage? Did you see that damage? Josie. Ow. Get off me. No thanks. Huh. Get off me. No thanks. Come on, bro. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Kick that girl upside the head and play the outro. Suck on that. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Zay? Chillin', man. Chillin'. We chillin'. Had, had to beat up an Anna. That's what's up. You miss running three? What, this? Oh. Or are you just talking about on uh, Azucena? Well, nothing now. I did have an Arizona, but it's empty. Uh, so, after this, I might play, get into another game. I was thinking maybe Elden Ring or something else. I don't know. Classic bitch made Anna player who doesn't rematch. Oh no, it's him again! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he gets his opportunity to get his revenge. 
But yeah, uh, don't teabag, because you just got your butt whooped, so that's crazy. Like, he wasn't even doing it right. He was doing this, that's not how you teabag, bro. Like, if you're gonna teabag, don't look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, you, you look goofy. You know? Anna is short for annoying. You know, you might be onto something. And he likes his intros, too. He likes to show off his ugly character model. And he likes to mash on switch stance because he's stupid. Bing bang, boom. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, don't press no buttons. Don't press no buttons. Bow, bow, bow. Don't press nothing. Sit there and let me beat on you. Pause. Come on, bro, what you got? Oh. That's not it. Okay, so I step launch, that's fair. Wow, the fact that you can't block that. Okay. Key charge! Look, he's, you saw it. So if I beat you. Ow, right, Makuch? And then he's teabagging again, or trying to. Yeah, you do well in Tekken 8 by playing like an idiot. Man, your parents didn't beat you enough. Honestly. Yeah. He ducked those. Get you again. Oops. Oh, you keep sweeping because you're trash. And then you miss it, bro. Kick him in the head. Wow. Trash. Awful. Garbage. Oh, yeah. Get hit. I don't respect your frames. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Random launch. Boy, if you don't get off me, get off me. We ain't playing like that. Oh, break her neck! Yeah. Key charge on him. Key charge on him. Key charge on him. Key charge on him. You're trash, Anna player. You're trash. You're trash. Goodbye. You're garbage, okay? God, you know that feels so good, destroying a stupid Anna player, bro? Come on, man. Come on, now. Cold? Absolutely. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Execute. People still teabag? It's crazy. It's fascinating. So, oh. Wait, hold on. Before I start this thing. So you said, hey man, what do you do when you're feeling down? I'm going to need a new strat. So, okay. So this is a good subject. What you do when you're feeling down, first of all, you need to establish what you enjoy doing on your off times. Whether it's looking at YouTube videos, listening to music, playing a game that doesn't cause stress. Um, those are good ones to start. Uh, I don't trust this. <laughs> it might be that Anna. I don't want to see the Anna again. But yeah, it's mainly just doing things you like doing. Um, what I liked to do when I'm feeling sort of down... Um, Honestly, I'd probably watch anime or get to music or play like a single player like Elden Ring or Prototype. If I'm really feeling something, I play, play Prototype or I used to and I start like destroying the city. Or another thing, you can work out. Um, if you go to a local gym, you can hit the bags, you know, like lift some iron, you know, it can get some frustrations out and take a walk. There's a lot of things you can do, man. Read a book. I don't know. Like, it depends on what you like to do. But me personally, I, I'm i sort of a seclude. So, like, if I'm feeling down, I'm going to, like, endure that by myself and then figure out a way to deal with it. I don't 
like people trying to cheer me up because that's not how I operate. Even though it is appreciated, I I really enjoy like building myself up. I know Zay, I know, but you, you gotta know how I am by now. Um, I, I have to like bring myself up my own way. All right, look, Anna, we ain't doing this. <laughs> we ain't doing this. My audio is messed up. Again? I'm good. I'm glad that you said that because we can't be doing this with no messed up audio. Sorry I had to back up out of that real quick. Got to fix the audio. Uh, how, how is it? Wait, are you sure? Because the audio is kind of up there. You know what I'm saying? The audio is really up there. Turn your audio up is what I would suggest. Damn, it kind of sucks that didn't have anybody that wanted to play Tagoon 7 with me. I did have one person, but it was the same person, so it's not the same. Uh, so yeah, I can either play Ticket 7 again, go to the pools, <laughs> play Elden Ring. Oh, let's play Elden Ring. Yeah, let's play Elden Ring. Elden Ring. That's an excellent game to play. Because with that, I can do anything. I could talk about whatever I want to, so let's do that. Let's play some Elden Ring. I hope you guys are up for it, because that's what we buy to do. Play some Elden Ring. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, it, it you know, it, it does feel kind of good to play stuff and not be worried about it but is is the audio still good is it messed up still i hope not all good okay cool so what i wanted to do here before i get started first of all let's start a new game Let's start a new game. So I had some ideas. Um, uh, so first one was Elden Ring is definitely cool. It's one of the better games. And it's going to get DLC soon. So I'm really excited about that. So, oh, also, what's up, devil? How you doing, bro? How you doing? So what I wanted to do was either become an axe axe man with infinite fp that's one of the choices an axe man where i'd strictly play axes but i have infinite fp which is the blue bar um a what's a good challenge well axe is one of them playing axes is one of them uh let's see Maces is one, like the, um, the Balding Star, <laughs> Balding Star, that's one, uh, I, I don't, I don't like playing with samurai swords, there's something very cringe about dex builds, mainly is because they're, they're like for PvP, uh, I, and that and magic, I can't, that's not me, man, I can't do it. So yeah, maybe like an axe, axe person, a huge sword person, um, maybe some maces, fist weapon, maybe some fist weapons, fist weapons with infinite stamina, hmm, I don't know, what do you guys think, what do you, I'm, I'm just spitballing ideas, because <laughs> not only will we be playing this for visual experience, you know, uh, I like to get uh, input from you guys because it's not just me streaming and just playing some game. You know, I, I like to interact with everybody, or at least try to, because for one, I enjoy the fact that you uh, came to the stream. Bleeding strats? Oh, dude, I love bleed. Bleed is so good. Bleed with the balding stars? Oh, that's good. Okay, maybe you bleed. 
I'm really wanting to do an axe though. I love axes. So axes or bleeding, okay? Mmm. I think I'm, I might have to uh, get the axe. I'm, I might have to. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You don't know enough to have valid suggestions? All good. Uh, you know what? Let's do axes. Okay. I'll do axes, but... Type A. I'm going to call him Axe Man. Axe me. Ask me a question. Oh, I can't. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. That'll do. Call him Bob? Damn. What you... Huh? Zay, what did you say? Bob the Destroyer? That's a good name, but I think that's too many words. Bob the Destroyer. Yeah, see, it's just too many words. Oh, I, I spelled it wrong anyway. Bod the Destroyer's madness. Chewy Bob? Bob the God? Chewy? See, not a lot of people will understand Chewy Bob. That is good, but... Sorry, taking a game. It. You know what? This is an inside joke, but if if um if Zay wants to elaborate, she can. But yeah, Chewy Bob. That's that's a good one. That, yeah, there's lore behind that. So Chewy Bob has to be a mature man. He's a hero. So with this, there has to be some sort of. It's all right. <laughs> it's all good, man. So with this, there has to be a penalty. So with this, I have to use axes, but there's a catch. What do you guys think would be a good catch? Like, I only upgrade strength and nothing else. I run around naked with no armor. Uh, I have unlimited stamina, but something else bad, I don't know. What you guys feeling? I want to see how creative you are. <laughs> Keepsake. All right, taking the gaming. Thanks for coming to buy, man. I gotta get a golden seed for sure. Did I say sheed? Golden sheed. Chewy Bob Hazelnut Jr. Okay, yeah, it was the Persona Five thing. For sure. Ouch. All right. Death by a thousand cuts. What does that mean? So does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Because you just named Josie. That's Josie right there. You just named what Josie does. Josie is death by a thousand cuts. For real. Also, what's good movement? Yeah, we having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Just beat up a stupid Anna who he charged and teabagged. So that was a good start to the stream. But I had to cut it because my volume was apparently messed up. And also Anna. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking Naked Axe Man who only upgrades strength. How does that sound? Naked Axe Man who only upgrade, upgrades strength and nothing else. How about that? Sound good? He's gonna be looking like this now. So I hope you guys are ready to look at all this. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Naked Axe Man. Sounds like a monkey. A monkey? His body look like E.T. I mean, he does look a little rubbery, you know what I'm saying? He does look a little rubbery. Let me 
we skip those. All right, so I gotta be naked. Boom, we naked. You learned the butterfly kick kick? Oh, the 540 kick? Uh, no, not really. I attempted it in my uh, that one video, but that's about it. I didn't attempt it yet. I've been mainly focusing on like boxing and kickboxing in the gym. I haven't been doing like acrobatic stuff lately, but I'm pretty sure if I practiced and had a big enough space, I could probably do it. It's just I'd have to practice it. You know what? Yeah, no, no uh, cheats here. No cheats. Because I was thinking about having like an infinite stamina bar or infinite FP bar. But since we're doing a legit challenge run, where we're just chilling, you know what I'm saying? No cheats. Maybe for a next time. Because infinite stamina run does sound fun. All right, so we gotta fight. Wait a minute, ooh. I gotta make sure the volume's up on this thing. Got parks and open spaces. I don't wanna practice over there like that, though. If I'm in a park, I don't know. But yeah, hopefully this will Okay, cool. Alright. About to fight our first boss. Let's do it. Naked and afraid. Oh, God. Already taking damage. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking damage already. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that fight doesn't really matter. It's it's one of those um, just like Sekiro, like the beginning of Sekiro. If you ever played it, the first boss you run into, it's either you f you play him and fail, but you'll still continue, or you beat him and continue. It's one of those. But yeah, dude. Um, don't want to do butter. Not enough space. Look, I haven't been... Look, one day I'll learn how to do the 540. One day. But I've been trying to... You know, I'll be focusing on... Alright, look. Just for... Just for you guys, I'll do it one day. Alright? I'll do the butterfly. And it's, and it's good timing because I've gotten back into Tekken 7. So, that'll be great. I'll actually complete the mission. How's that sound? I think that sounds good to me. Get that shit out of here. Shields are for scrubs, even though I have one. Do you believe it when you see it? Fair enough. Fair enough. Talk is cheap, right? Talk is cheap. Maybe I'll do a no shield too. Now get the shield out of here. Shields are for scrubs. So, you run it with no shield. I'm naked axe man. Look at his body, man. Look at his body. Whew. I will be honest though, his body looks way better than a lot of Americans, you know? His stomach is flat, he's not really fat, he's just normal looking, and he looks way better than a lot of people. He looks way better. A lot of people be looking like, uh, you know, yeah, he's looking crazy, over here looking like Grimace. 80% look like Grimace. Fat, round, and purple. Yo, what's up, Emperor? Good to see you, bruh. Yo, 
we 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 chilling right now. We chilling. A nice whiff, idiot. Come on. Come on. Trash. Beautiful. Purple. Yeah, people be running around looking for purple, bro. You know, hey, no judgment. People be purple sometimes. Mainly white people, because they can turn those colors. <laughs> you chilling on Stellar Blade? Wait, that's the, that's out already? I thought they only had the demo out. And let's be real, you're getting it because of, you want to see some, oh, the demo, okay. You want to see some physics, right? You trying to look at some, yeah, you trying to look at some physics, right? <sighs> of course these devs coming out with all the horny games, man. And people fall in hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Near Automata, you know, with 2B, it had its run. But now they're coming out with another one where this girl is probably a robot. I don't know. She looks kind of like a high schooler in your favorite anime, right? But, uh, yeah. Hey, the next horny game for all you horny bastards. So, let me guess, Emperor, let me, you, you're climbing up all the ladders very slowly, right? Mm-hmm. Don't, you don't have to tell me, I already know. I already know. It's okay, though. I already know. It's no worries, bro. It's no worries. <laughs> no judgment here. This is coming from a person that literally blew off 2B skirt to run around half-naked. I mean, it is what it is. We all did it before. It is what it is. The Japanese uh, devs, they know what they're doing. But mainly, I like uh, Nero Automata because the combat is great, and I love fist weapons. The fist weapons, when they start going all fast and stuff, those are my favorite. Those are my all-time favorite. Because when you upgrade them, they start flying fast, and, they, and she looks like she's, like, uh, she belongs in um, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Y'all nasty? No, bro, Zay, you don't understand, man. You, the games that you play, they don't have those elements in them. You, look, let's just call it a side mission. A lot of things that happen in these types of games are side missions, right? Just, uh, yeah. Can you, dude, l listen, they'll ask all the questions you want. So, you said, can I ask your opinion on the Tekken 8 BP? What? Oh, Battle Pass? Okay, I'm glad that you're asking that question, because I have some thoughts on that. First of all, Namco, what in the God's name are you people doing? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. It makes no sense. See, here's the thing, bruv. Battle passes are mainly for shooters, so you have your Fortnites, you have your Halos, you have your whatever you call it, right? You have those games. They have battle passes to keep you engaged with the game with microtransactions, right? It, 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 it's... it's 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 a it's a little thing that these devs like to do to keep people in the game. That, that's what it is, man. It's look that that knife missed me. It's a freaking scam, bro. It's a scam. That's just like with Destiny 2. De Destiny 2 rather than Destiny 1. Destiny 1 was a fantastic. Game. It didn't have the most microtransactions that I can remember, but Destiny 1 it was beautiful. I mainly played it for the PvP at, at the moment. At the time, I was playing PvP and some campaign. But, yeah. Like, Destiny 1 did not circle around, hey, you need to buy this in order to um, play the game or progress in the story mode. It wasn't until Destiny 2 where they decided, hey, let's start doing that and wrecking everybody's game. So, yeah, that's what they done did. And Destiny 2 has its mixed reviews and it's trash. PvP-wise. 
and a little bit campaign wise but yeah you said it's Genshin too yeah game so there's here's my opinion on battle passes they should only be for shooters not fighting games because it doesn't make sense you have battle passes for a fighting game that's not what it's about if you're gonna do the Tekken store or whatever keep that right there keep it where it is make it cosmetic because let's be honest that's what it's good for it's good for cosmetics and if people really care about that sort of thing oh my butt ouch pause so I don't think it's great that they're putting stupid battle passes in the thing for a fighting game that doesn't make sense to me so I think that's trash but you you know you have and no offense to those guys that actually buy those things and and really like praise Namco I mean you do you but for the normal people it's just like whoa what are you guys doing you know, we normal people don't like that sort of thing you know Namco and their scummy little tricks to get people to buy things and keep the game relevant you don't have to put stuff in the game that is not needed to keep it relevant you can keep it relevant by fixing the game accordingly not breaking it like you did with this recent patch they broke oh man everybody was so mad i was dude i was sitting there i was sitting there looking on twitter i was just like oh you guys are having an issue huh 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 Hmm. Couldn't be me. Hmm. Well, I'm in Tekken 7 and enjoying the time of my life. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got time for all that mess. And then Eddie Gordo. Goofy. Apparently he's goofy. Which is just like press one button like five times to do a combo. Whatever. Your thing about Battle Pass is if it was all about cosmetic then it's whatever. But, but Battle Pass be having... Uh, in-game currency and bonuses that's what I'm talking about that's why it should strictly be for shooters because that's what it's about I think it's in Halo 5 as well because it's a shooter it's fine because people either gonna not do it or do it that's whatever I don't care but putting it in a fighting game it's really it's really shady and weird when you think about it man it's really weird it doesn't feel right, and a very, really bad marketing thing for Namco to do so. It's very bad. Yeah, Katarina had 4 for 4 for 4 for 4 and 3 for 3 for 3 for 3. So it's just, whoop! No. Uh, ouch. That hurt. That hurt quite a bit. So, L Namco, for doing what they did. so stupid it is stupid but it's i'll tell you what when i first played this game and i saw this boss it creeped me out it creeped me out because that where he's standing right there and then he does that quick smash it looks so robotic and creepy that i was like oh my god Boom. but yeah that that's about it i wouldn't that but you get used to it you get used to him looking stupid but him walking on his hind legs and then quickly doing that slash it was so robotic and uncanny that I was like Ew, it creeped me out a little bit but other than that he's kind of whatever I wish the le legacy outfits were in the game that's what I'm saying but see if you know Namco like most of everybody does they're not going to miss the opportunity to not sell you legacy outfits for a price that's why they shot the people Yo, Turla, what's good? Happy you could catch a stream, man. We're talking about Tekken. And the nonsense, baby. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, Namco not missing an opportunity to price you for things that should be in base game. Um, that's why they shot the people that was modding the game. Because, uh, 
they knew they already knew they had all the stuff planned out just like the Leroy nerfs they had it prepackaged they had it prepackaged so um they shot those people yeah they copy I'm, I'm pretty sure they they got everybody that had those uh mods showcasing mods making mods I thought I saw something they shot everyone that was showcasing them because they knew that they themselves were going to um, market those outfits and sell it to people for money which is freaking parasitic bro it is parasitic I'm so glad that I don't care that much about those things but man it really feels bad when you have people that really care and are, are really serious about this game and to have them be stabbed in the back by these devs at the end of the day dude Tekken doesn't belong to you if you don't have it if you don't have it in physical copy this game doesn't belong to you. it belongs to them it belongs to them and I know you guys know that right you you know that right if you do not have a physical copy then they can do whatever they want even a uh, good or bad and it's whatever because it's a digital copy so there there's been thing oh what do you got am i good at street fighter kind of i've been playing ken you got your physical copy hell yeah that's what's up i have mine digital because that's just how i roll I do things digital first of all my pc doesn't have a cd drive it's it's my tower doesn't have one so i have to do everything digital which is unfortunate but it is what it is uh yeah so i have to do all of my stuff digital which is good or fine terrified i'm gonna lose your channel i mean you won't lose your channel bro it's just just to be safe don't upload mods uh it's it's so weird it's so weird i don't even want to say what i did in tekken 8 because namco might come after me too but whatever um I probably shouldn't be in here because these wolves do like 10 million damage but yeah let's see what you guys are talking about bro uh Tekken 8 uh the patch broke the game the patch broke the game it's madness Fortnite changed everything <laughs> Fortnite was a free game and then they put microtransactions in Goku and Naruto and now it's not even Fortnite anymore it's freaking Toon Smash I don't know some Looney Tune game now. It feels like all the people that really held on when this game was going through its drought just got disrespected. That's what I'm talking about. People that really enjoyed Tekken on a serious level got slapped in the face. <gasps> One shot. Got slapped in the face and they were told all you can do is like it. Oh, I'm getting ganged up by dogs. Kill these stupid dogs. Oh, he fell. Oh, this guy's gonna do so much damage. Ugh. He doesn't stagger. Oh, dog behind me. Dog behind me. Bad dog. Dog behind me. Where'd he go? I see you in the dark, you little bad. I survive. I survive. I survive. Yo, what's up, Fryant? <laughs> oh, your name is Ryan. Yo, what's up, Ryan? I'm just call you Ryan. Uh, I'm not uploading anything Tekken, but they could strike me for any one of your other Tekken vids. I mean, if it's not Tekken 8, it shouldn't matter, but honestly, dude, it, j it just feels really bad. I feel sorry for people that work hard. Do you know how hard uh, modding is? That is tough stuff. Like, from the ground up, like... Uh, doing stuff from Blender or whatever they have, you know, that is tough stuff. So being told that your work means nothing, and if you show it to anybody, it's going to be shot, then that's it. Did you just say Ryan Gosling? Oh my god, yo, Zay, what the? No, it's Fryin' Ryan. <laughs> Alright, a lot of folks deal with this was okay two weeks ago exactly because they don't know what they want to do 
They don't know what they want to do. Well, they do know what they want to do, but it's not exactly good. They want to sell you things on a on a game that is deteriorating fast and is on fire. Yo, what's good, Wolfman? What's good, what's good, what's good? So, for all the people that is on a Tekken 8 strike, I am with you, trust me. I've been doing it for like a week. <laughs> I've been doing it for like a week. Get greedy. Dude, I know your moveset like the back of my hand. Ooh. Pretty close. gonna be good in like two and a two to three years that is very optimistic dude here's my thing you want to know what I think about Tekken 8 the very first time that they announced that this game is coming out the very first thought I had in my head was isn't this a little too early that was my very first initial thought I was like dude this is way too early this can't be real right it's way too early that was my initial thought it's way too early for Tekken 8 to be even thought about because Namco they've already had their time massacring season 4 or I guess season 5 of Tekken 7 with the whole the whole tech rolling into the walls because of Akuma and Ling and whatever but yeah, when they announced it, I was like, this feels like Tekken 8 should be in the works for a long while longer. You know, it's weird. So that was my very first thought when they was talking about um, Tekken 8. Yeah, yeah, 2026, something like that. This comes to show, you guys had enough time to... Um, to play test this thing, make sure everything is good. They had plenty of time, but no. They wanted they wanted to go 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 go. We gotta sell these shirts. Go 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 go. It makes no sense to me. They wanted to rush it so bad. And me, I was doubting the entire time. I was like, what is this? It's too early. Tekken 8 can't be coming out this fast, right? God damn. Yo, what's up, music and affection? You drop Tekken 8 on your first day and swore to play it with buds only. You literally get a better competitive and skillful exp uh, experience playing a dead fighting game. Yeah, this was definitely not my first Tekken 8. Yeah, man. And, and I'll tell you what, if you do play Tekken 8, it's much better playing with your friends. Sometimes. Sometimes. But, um... It depends on where your headspace is. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 talky, 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 talky. I think I need to put my, um, my camera in the middle. In the middle. Yeah, if you play uh, Tekken with your friends, it's much better for the long run, because playing online is gonna make you, like, punch something if you're that type of person. Alright, let's rank up strength, because that's all we're doing. Strength run. Your headspace is as far away from heat as possible? Huh. Well, that's good for you. I can't. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, he's on. Some companies have been making poor decisions for a while now. Yeah, it's crazy because you get censored. Wait, get censored for what? What are you talking about? Are you talking about on YouTube or on here? I hope you didn't say anything crazy. Uh, but yeah, dude, game companies have been going the microtransaction route for a long while now. Oh, ooh, did you see those those dodging skills? My reflexes, amazing, incredible, unmatched. Uh, fucking. 
doesn't like the sh word. What is sh? Shit. Cause I say it a lot, but then again, I'm the one like streaming, so shoot. It doesn't like the word shoot. What? Why is that a blocked word? That's madness. Huh, that's something I need to look into. Cause I don't I don't really know about I don't really know about the moderation um the moderation uh, settings on this thing. I just usually I do. I hate that. That's uh I just usually press play. Shucks? You can say shucks apparently. <laughs> Just curse. Like, don't say, bro, just curse. Like, yo, what are we doing? Unless you're like somebody's 13 year old old kid, then don't cuss. But, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are adults here. Like, I wouldn't care if you said, God damn it. Like, curse, bro. <laughs> curse. These. I hate dogs in video games. Dogs are so stressful. Which is why you must die, Fido. Ooh, nice sidestep. That was taking seven sidestep. Uh-oh, here comes his dad. Woo! I'm speaking metaphorically. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Can you say the C word? Uh, that depends on what the C word is, and I would suggest you did not. Because I don't know what kind of timing you're on, so I, hey, that could mean anything, so I, I don't, yeah, no, yeah. don't try to get me banned. <laughs> Lucky Chloe, ooh, that's a bad word right there. You just said Chloe? Oh my goodness. What's wrong with you, man? Chloe? What the you said Chloe, dude? Damn, Chloe. That's madness. Oh, speaking of Chloe, I'm pretty sure you know Azucena, like, beat her, like, till she was almost unconscious, put coffee in her mouth, and then, like, drank her blood. And that's why she acts like that. You gonna go eat something? Everything is irritating? Alright, hey, I hope your uh, mood clears up, Turla. Take care, dude. Refreshing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something uh, Azucena would say. Refreshing. The taste of human essence. God. Azucena really is a monster, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, that's in the lore. It's, it's buried deep in the catacombs of the Tekken store. I didn't buy it, of course. <laughs> Fire mods? Can you recommend a game? Sure. What is it? Because I'm going to be playing a whole bunch of different stuff on here. And just like talk about stuff. Because that's. What I just really wanted to play Elden and talk about funny thing. Intruder? I'll look that up. I don't know what that is. Extra lore in the battle pass. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks to get extra lore. It was good, bro. Let's fight. I'm naked. Oh! Wait a minute. I'm alive. Oh! You have to pay for that, buddy. I'm like so under level for this. Oh! Love axes. They're so fast. Ooh. 
This one hit me. Okay, good, 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 good. The horse is about to kick the bucket. Oh! Uh. No, I think the man is. The man is about to kick the bucket. Come here, you stupid horse. Stop riding all over the place. You faked me out. I can't believe it. He faked me out. He got me. He got me. Come here, dude. Come here. Ooh, chop it. Ooh. Ooh. You about to get it. There it is. Chop it. Chop it. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have any more heals. Of course, AOE. Oh. That was a good run. You got hit with the unblockable. That's a fact. Tekken 8 is burning. Yo, what's up, uh, Spectre? Yeah, Tekken 8 is burning. Oh, it's morning. It's just like GTA. Like, when you, when you get wasted, and then you wake up in the freaking, um... <laughs> you wake up in the hospital. That's exactly what just happened. I got wasted, and now he's gone. I've been left in the dirt, naked, and afraid. Damn it. It's whack. I got banned. Yo, Turlo, what the hell? You lied. You said... Well, if you're still here, then that's good. Fight started, and you was getting up, so you stayed for it. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad you stayed for it. It was unfortunate that it ended the way it did, but yeah. Oh, this is such a great game. I want. I, I really do want when you switch. Then you switch to Trevor. I really want people to play games like this. It's so freeing. I really think people that play fighting games would enjoy stuff like this. Because let's be honest. How many of you? How many of you? Imp, uh, implement Tekken terms to other games that have nothing to do with it. Like, how many times have you played a game and was like, oh, that's that's negative, that's launch punishable, that's this, that's this on, on uh, plus, that's, that's a minus or whatever. Ooh, I sidestepped that, punished. I'm pretty, we all do it. You actually hate this game? Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, um, it's either you hate it or you don't. But I find it quite re well. I already have Souls games in my blood because I've played all the Dark Souls, except Demon Souls because it's on PS5, and I am not, I am not buying a whole system just to play one game. Like, are you kidding? I can't buy a whole giant white Harry Potter book-looking thing just to play one freaking game. Like, there is no way in hell I'm doing that. Bro. I can't do it. So cool. I can't believe I missed. So kudos to people that actually did it. Me myself, I can't. I can't. Come at the fucking bugs in here. I can't. I can't build myself up to do it. I can't. No matter what class, magic or melee, you can just parry and beat this game. I mean, well, no, that's not necessarily true. You first of all, you need to be good with parries, cause. The way that parries work in this game, it I would say it builds off of uh, Dark Souls 3 parries. The, the timing of that. I would say that. Because Dark Souls 3 had difficult parries. Because it's kind of like Call of Duty or Halo 3 where you have to lead it first before you let it rip. If you let it rip immediately, you're going to get cracked. But, yeah. It kind of has Dark Souls 3 parries, where you kind of have to do it preemptively, in a way. But it's still great. It's still great. Because you, you, you have to get used to it. So, if you get used to it, you can definitely parry the mass majority of folk and do well. But, again, you gotta be slick with it. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be good with it. Like, if you let that jump crack and you're not good, you're gonna get... Smash! 
Just like good old Steve. Smack! You're gonna get smashed. And it's not gonna feel good. Nobody wants to get smashed. Uh, you know, in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? Didn't stop you from buying a Switch just for Smash. Yeah, but I did that for Smash Brothers, but I have other games on it. I have a Switch for whenever I want to play something else. And also have a Game Boy Advance. Remember those? Game Boy Advances, bro. I love that thing. I love Game Boy Advance. Uh, where am I going? I'm trying to... I want a better axe. So that's that's my objective. I want a better axe. Uh, let's see. Why does your character look like when you switch to Trevor and he's wearing nothing but underwear and Tims? Well, first of all, you wish because I ain't got no Tims. I have no shoes, but I am naked. And also, this guy has freaking hair. This guy has way better hair than Trevor. I'll tell you that much. He has way better hair than Trevor. Trevor has a monstrosity. He he has the drunk man's hairdo. That's a bear. Get away. Yeah, he's got the drunk man's hairdo. And that'll never change. I don't know too much about Trevor. All I know is, like, people keep saying he's, like, really a badass, which is weird. You said he got that cake. That's madness. That's crazy. Bro. You call that cake, bro? This man has never done a squat in his entire life. I have more ass than homeboy. But that's because you know, I do my squats or whatever. Anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, Zay, don't say nothing. Um, but yeah, what's the deal with everybody liking Trevor? I don't... I don't see... Proof? That's crazy, Frying Ride. That's crazy. That's crazy that you said it. Just take my word for it, alright? That's all you'll get, is my word for it. That's crazy, he said, proof. <sighs> so yeah, dude. You know, before I turned this stream on, I was kind of perplexed. I was like, oh my god, what the heck can I play? Because I was just sitting there staring at the screen. I'm like, dude, what do I actually play? It's kind of funny when you have those uh, feelings of not knowing what you want to do. But it's kind of exciting. Ooh, speaking of exciting, we got ourselves a boss. We got pumpkin head. Ooh! Yep. Yep. Nice smash. Ooh! You might kill me. Ugh. Ooh, smash! Oh my god, I can't believe I will. Smash! Again. Uh oh. That's okay, you're about to die anyway. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, I almost got greedy. Mad. I mean, acting like he doesn't have a bunch of games he never streamed. Well, that's the thing. Um, I want to stream a lot of games to you guys. But I just never know if it's gonna be like a good idea. 
Because I'm kind of like stuck on this thing like, oh my god, I have to stream Tekken or I have to stream something that's interesting. But you know, over the years, I've kind of gotten over that a little bit. And I've started to branch out and really like saying, you know what? It doesn't really matter what's on the screen. Or at least it shouldn't matter. As long as these guys are coming just enjoying hearing me say stupid things, which I enjoy more than anything. I like talking about stuff. I like talking about stuff, mainly about martial arts, really. Uh, as long as people can stand that, then it's all good. You don't know if you don't try it, that's also true. Game is game. <laughs> game is game. Gaming is gaming. Shoutouts to Mr. Incredible. <laughs> what a great meme. Gaming is gaming. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm aspiring to be like the biggest YouTube. I've already been over here. The biggest YouTuber ever. I just want people to enjoy what I do no matter what. Because I will be honest, ever since like I've began, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And that's another thing a lot of these guys don't do. They don't be honest. Ooh, I almost jumped in there. They're not honest with their, their fans. You know, I want to be honest with you guys, and I will say, ever since I began, ooh, I began my, um, Tekken Hate, Tekken Hate, yeah, my Tekken Hate Brigade, I've been losing people, because those people, I think those people are stuck in that world, and they don't want to accept that it's fact, so they're like, oh, screw this guy, I can't believe you, that's what happens, man. That's why, you know, folks attack Jesus, you know, other examples that I can't think of, because they don't like truth. They don't like the truth. So they don't venture off into the Matrix to find out more. No, they're just stuck in the, in the, they're just stuck in the blue pill world. This metaphor is going, this metaphor is going a little bit far, but you basically understand what I'm saying. People don't want to accept. Yo, what's up, turtle? Yeah, it's it just when when you have someone that likes to or tries to speak honestly, some people don't like it. Basically, is what I'm saying. You can play bejeweled. Don't listen. Don't get me. Hey, don't try me. I will tear up some bejeweled if I find it. You're in the both pill world. Yeah, take overdose on two pills. Be, uh, don't not literally. Uh, yeah, just be cool. Be cool or whatever or something. <laughs> yeah, don't be crazy. Look at all these bears, bro. Look at all the kumas. Oh my God, the bear died. <laughs> Kuma, no! Kuma, he jumped off the ledge and died. Oh! That's crazy. You're gonna take that literally? That's madness. What would your father say? Maybe it's your attitude, too? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I believe it's my attitude a little bit. I, I'd like to to uh, pride myself as a well enough streamer. I can, I can do well, perhaps, you know? I enjoy making videos as much as I enjoy streaming. I probably shouldn't be in here. I'm naked. I'm very oh. I'm very naked in here, and it, it, I could possibly get one shot at. So I gotta be careful. I'm naked. Remember, there's a guy up there. Damn, Kuma! Kuma couldn't take being rejected. That's another thing that's weird. You wanna? I'm gonna talk about that for a minute. Like, what the? Why we got, why we got these bears trying to? Kuma is so weird, dude. He's so weird. Like, why we got bears trying to love another bear in a fighting game? Tekken is so. Ugh! Ow! Stupid. Throwing stuff. Is there a guy in the corner? Yep. Oh! Stop throwing stuff! Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Hold on, I have to.
Or survive first. Oh my god. Get some. Get some. Uh, with where Tekken is going, who would want to put all their eggs in one basket and bet facts, dude? And that's why I wanted to. Dude. You said Kuma wants to slam. But yeah, that's what I kind of want to do now. I kind of want to just do other stuff. I've been doing so much Tekken and I'm just like, ugh. Oh no. Chill. I kind of just want to do other stuff and see where it gets me. And that's okay. You know? I just... I just want to be loved. The things I do for love. <laughs> Shoutouts to Cursed Cowardly Dog. One of my favorite cartoons of the 2000s. Ooh, ouch. Oh, there's a man. Or a gold. Whatever the fuck is it. Stop backdashing. This is. Hey. Backdashing like as a fan. Oh. Jump attack, loser. You may have to ease everyone into it and play. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm already switching to. Uh, uh, you know what, Devil? Thanks for believing in me, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, I very much appreciate. It. Yo, this man is cool. Look at him. He looks so cool. Oh. He's got the chain hammers. I don't want to die to him. Woo. Gotta be careful. Woo. Ooh. Well, whatever, loser. One charge up for the. Oh, that almost hit me. Oh, smash. Oh, I'm so glad that hit him because he would have whiffed punished me and that would have hurt a lot. Smash. Oh. Smash. Beautiful. Look at this naked man. Maybe I should be naked for like a lot of time. I should play naked more often. Playing naked is where it's at. Look how bro. I'm doing well playing naked. Probably because I have to pay attention to more of not getting hit, but you know, playing naked is the strat I believe. Remember when people accepted that Street Fighter V was in a bad state and relished in it? <laughs> They settled, yeah. See, here's the thing. I wasn't, I never, um, I never delved into the Street Fighter community because I don't like to associate with too many communities surrounded by games because you know people are insane. Like, if you have, like, a Death Stranding community, they're probably insane. You know, Street Fighter community, you know they're insane. Smash players... Yeah, every gaming community, I tend to, like, not meld with them. You never think people have to settle? Well, I mean, it kind of depends on where they're at, I guess. Uh, I would say venturing out is good. Venturing out is good. Testing your, testing the limits. I like to test the limits. And I do want to test the limits more because that's fun. I like to see how people react to things, but some people, they don't want to. They're kind of complacent in the fact that, oh, I'm a, 
I'm a, a freaking Resident Evil streamer or something else in between. It's like, uh, maybe you are, but it's different if they enjoy it. And it's another thing if they hate it and want it to like burn. See me, I'm in I'm in between. I'm in between. I, it's a love hate relationship. Mostly hate, but you know, it, you know we've already established it's love hate. But it's so far it's to the point to where Huh, I thought I heard something strange. Anywho I'm at a point to where I hate it so much that I am quote unquote forced to do other things so that I don't burn out <clears throat> and not want to do stuff anymore. You gave taking it an honest honest try. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. You know, giving it an honest try is all we can do. You said MK is on fire? Oh, you mean in a bad way? I've heard MK was kind of tripping too, but. Is it really as bad as it is as um, Tekken 8? <laughs> no, I mean settled. If someone genuinely enjoys dictating, de de wait, what? Dedicate? Oh, dedicated. Dedicating to one or two things that's fine, but not settling oh. because they're happy. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah, in a bad way. Damn. You try Street Fighter 6? Yes, I have. I actually have Street Fighter 6. I've played Ken, of course, because I love Ken. Uh, but I haven't played that in a long while either. Um, I kind of played it before the whole Tekken 8 thing. So, yeah. I, yeah. Ken the Hobo. I mean, he, there's a reason why he looks like a hobo. Are you going to give Intruder a look on the stream? Yeah, I'll probably give it a look. If it's something you guys will be interested in. I don't mind. Playing new things is fun. I do, oh, oh, I do have some Backrooms games that I'm looking forward to. Uh, one of them is called Dream Pools, you know. Uh, that's not the one with the duck, Frying Ryan. That's called uh, Pools. That's coming out soon. Um, there's another one that's coming out. It's called Subliminal. Oh, yeah, Smiles. Yes, Smiles. Yo, what's up, Kyo Limit? What is good, bro? Cammy is so funny. Cammy is also naked and probably smells like sardines. Like, when I look at her, her leotard or whatever you want to call it, I always imagine she smells like some, goddamn, she's like baking down there. It's, oh, it's so gross, bro. Like, she's always naked in her, like, oh, fuck. You, you ever think about that, bro? She's always in her weird leotard. She's basically naked, but like, she probably smells crazy. Oh, God. That's a bad thing to think about, but I can't help it. I can't help it. She's basically like having her ass cheeks hanging out all the time, and she's fighting men. It's, oh, I can't, I can't imagine. And she's always doing spiral arrow, spiral arrow, and like dragging her skin across the ground. Kami's a weird one. She's so weird, but they've they've given her clothes in a. It's Street Fighter 6, so it's not all crazy. Uh, yeah, she need, she definitely needs some feminine sprays and all that stuff, because you can't be fighting in a leotard. First of all, you're gonna get freaking wedgy. Uh, and second, you're gonna smell like all the men that you're fighting, which is... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Cammy, bro, I'm glad they gave her clothes. Because being naked and, like, fighting all the time, that's a weird concept. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure all the dudes don't mind because they put naked mods on her anyway. Full factory senses activated. Yeah, sensory overload at that point. Goddamn. Alright, bruh. So, let's make our way this way. Progress a little more. Maybe I'll upgrade my strength a little bit. And then I'll fight Margaret or whatever his name is. I think his name is Margaret. Having a dude named Margaret is very weird. Only in Elden Ring will you have some dude named freaking Margaret and like... <sighs> it's weird, man. Why? Why? You gonna tell your kids this is... 
Gonna tell your kids this is Red Dead Redemption 3? Hell yeah, bro. We're in the Elden times. The Elden days. Oh, he's getting hyped. This guy, he's... he's a, ow! He didn't do any damage. Bro. See, this guy... I don't know his story, but he's lost his mind. And he's just always on this... On this bridge, just smash, 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 smashing his brain into the ground. I don't know what his deal is. He probably played the recent patch of Tekken 8 and was like, I can't take this anymore. This sucks. You know, speaking of Tekken 8, bro, I've kind of like that Victor player stood no chance. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, Victor's are crazy. But, um, I kind of thought about maybe making some, uh, Tekken 8 memes. I've thought about it. I really thought about it. I think it would be very funny. Since Tekken 8 is such a shit show right now, I've thought about making some really funny Tekken 8. Ooh! Bad dog, that way. Some really funny Tekken 8. Ooh! The Ultra Instinct. Did you see it? Not even trying. That's why my channel is named Ultra Instinct. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that would be a very funny thing to do. Just start making Tekken, Tekken memes in general. God, oh god, I hate dogs. Get freaking! Oh, I didn't dodge that one. Ooh. This grown man is scary. I don't know if I want to fight him, I'm going to be honest with you, like, I'm naked and low level, he's going to kill me. Always know when to back out from the fight, okay? Always know. Always know. He ain't got to fight everybody head on just because you think your your boxers are cool. Whatever that means. But, yeah, they, yeah. I ain't fighting him right now. You telling us a plug? No. <laughs> don't plug. But know when you know when you about to get clapped. And I was about to get clapped by that man. Pause. I was gonna get beat by that guy. And it was gonna be very bad. So yeah, always know. <laughs> know when to push and to not push. Yeah. Don't see James Burr. Let me ask. Are you here? Does your yeah, dude, I'm really thinking about it. The golden order. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, uh, Devil? Yes, you're the Making Tekken 8 memes the would be so fun. And I think I'm going to do that. Not floating. Well. Like, it's going to be of the picture type. Like, I'm pretty good at make, finding pictures and, like, making things funny because my sense of humor is immaculate. But I think that'll be a good pastime, making freaking Tekken memes. Goddamn Tekken, man. Ugh. What a joke, bro. I was gonna learn to mod for Tekken 8, maybe good in seven years, but yeah, don't do that. That it'd be of your best interest to not even think of the word mod when playing Tekken 8, because the devs are gonna come in your house and give you a wedgie and tell you to pay uh, 600 Tekken points to unwedge yourself. So. Yeah, don't even think about it at all. That's a bad step. Mm-mm. Yeah, they, they really goofed up when they start clapping people's mods, bro. Their anti-mod is madness. In Tekken 7, they didn't really care, but now they're just like, oh, you put a mod? Or, you know, well, you know the reason why they're doing it. It's because they wanted to sell the stuff themselves. Other than that, it shouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been a problem, but they were just like, hell no. What if you're into that? Into what? Modding? If you're into modding, it is what it is, but I would suggest you not. If you do mods, I would suggest you like, wait, a guy's gonna shoot me. I would suggest you just... Do mods and like put it somewhere where it won't get you compromised. Like don't showcase it on your channel if you have one. Just like put it on DeviantArt. DeviantArt still have people modding and stuff. So you might want to do that. 
if you're really serious about it, I see, I don't see why not. The devs can't get you over there, it's free range. RE games? What, Resident Evil? You're gonna do mods for Resident Evil? DeviantArt being useful for modding was definitely... Uh, yeah, dude, because we all know DeviantArt for other stuff. Uh, if you know, you know, but yeah, it, it's interesting that uh, DeviantArt has uh, mods instead of the alternative. <laughs> Again, if you know, you know. Dude, this is Margaret, dude. I'm already at Margaret. Should I even fight this boss right now? Hey, you're in my house. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out of my house. All of you, get off of my lawn. Get off my freaking lawn. I have your buddy's dead body. Hey, you see that? That's gonna happen to you if you come any closer, okay? You see that? Yeah, back up slowly, or you're... Well, oh, pause, pause, pause. Back up or you're next, okay? I'm so stupid. What the fuck is that? Good stuff. He was talking about the devs breaking the in. Oh. Golden aura is yeah, the de yeah. The you don't Earth want the devs breaking in, so... Yeah, no, no, no. And they'll make you pay to Open not get, uh, you know, the and the elders not and get your wedgie pulled out. They actually back the facts. They backed up. They, they knew it was good. This man is naked. Unless you want some naked taint on your face, then I I'd back up too. Never fight a man who's naked. Remember that. If you learn anything from this stream... <laughs> Never fight a man who's naked. That's a big mistake. Don't fight a naked man. <laughs> oh, shit. You know... I'm gonna fight this boss... Right now. And it's gonna be terrible, but... It's gonna be fun at the same time, because I'm naked. Remember, my power comes from the fact that I'm naked. Look at those cheats, bro. Look at them. Look how undefined they are. They are. Foul tarnish. You're gonna fight a naked man? That's crazy. Don't don't get mad when you lose and then you teabag you, bro. Well, he's not naked. He's fully draped. Like, literally. He has drapery and, like... Alright, let's fight. I'm butt naked. Let's go. Woo! Chill, chill, chill. like non-stop chain stuff. Oh my god. Constantly attacking and whatever. Ooh, the timing was terrible. Oh, oh. I might lose this one, guys, for sure. Nice ET heal. Smash! Well, that does way more damage than the jump attacks. Oh! the thing about this game they do a lot of yeah, we get you. Ah, stuff like that that stuff is crazy that's the stuff that gets people killed a lot of the times the stagger the stagger will get you killed more than anything i kind of feel like i would like to uh upgrade my axe but where's the fun in that just fight this man naked 
unupgraded. This dude said, Turtle said, this game has the color correction of a Mucinex commercial. Wow, that is a new one. And it's funny because I see it. There's mucus colored stuff everywhere. That is an interesting comment. I've never heard anyone say that before. I heard about the color map. That is really funny. Mucinex, well, I mean the fog door right there, it definitely has mu mucus all over it. His tail comes back and smacks me. Can I just jump deeply? Yeah, that attack is good for the charge today. Boom. Because then he can't do anything because he's like minus 26. <laughs> Ooh! You guys are rooting for me out there. You guys are saying stuff I can't I can't see just yet. Remember, I'm naked. Oh! Whoa. Oh boy. Phase two. Now, out of passing skill. Warrior blood was truly running. Woo! Ouch. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna need you to chill. Stop! These foolish <sighs> yeah, this is, this, this, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit. <laughs> Rip indeed. <laughs> but you gotta go high risk against naked dudes? Yeah, I have nothing to do. I have nothing to lose. Dude, I am naked. What do I have to lose? I've already lost my clothes. So, I have nothing to lose. I'm just a crazy man that's running in here butt ass naked. Challenging a 10 foot man to a jewel. Shaolin Showdown. I might have a Shaolin Showdown. I got my Shin Gong Wu in the shape of an axe. Ouch. I'm getting my ass cut. I got my Shin Gong Wu and I'm ready to fight. His Shin Gong Wu is a cheater weapon because he keeps whipping it out to his head. Your Shin Gong Wu is a cheater's thing. I'm that has the same range. Second attack. That did 87 damage. Stop backdashing. Oh, very bad attempt. <laughs> very bad attempt. Character looks like Chris G, the Marvel player. Who is Chris G? I wouldn't be aware of who that might be, because uh, I don't associate with you know, Mar what is that, Marvel versus Capcom type dude? Think you mean to level up? I may have to. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to level up a little bit. I at least want my axe to be axing. My axe ain't axing nobody any questions. I need to start axing stuff. Correct. I didn't even go over here yet. Yeah, we gonna we gonna upgrade the axe and then challenge homeboy again. Oh, maybe I could fight a tree dude. I don't know. This game, see, here's the here's the good thing about Elden Ring. There's so much to do. 
And, like, you can get overwhelmed pretty easily as far as you don't know. Because, like, when you play the game, some people think, like, oh, I know exactly what I'm about to do. Me, personally, like, even though I've played this game, like, multiple times, there's times where I'm sitting here looking at this map and I'm like, Watch, uh, over here talking like Eustace. You know, I, yeah. Does Elder Ring have weapon arts? Yes. This is the weapon art for the axe. It's called Wild Strikes. It's pretty good when you have bleed or cold on it. When you have bleed or cold, it really like shaves down the health bar. And since you have hyper armor, you can just sit there and like slice, 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 and they hit you and it's like, I don't give a damn, you can still slice. So, me, I can't really do that because I'm butt-ass naked and I take double damage. But, um, it's a good strat, you know, if you have some good armor. I mean, armor, honestly, is a, is kind of a funny concept because it kind of doesn't work in this game somewhat because enemies still do 2,000 damage to you as opposed to, um, the other Souls games like Dark Souls 1. That's why everybody ran around as a Havel monster, because that that armor set had so much defense, lightning, fire, uh, magic defense, and it had a whole bunch of poise. So, yeah, they, you had people cheating. <laughs> Not really cheating, but just like running around being giant dads or Havel monsters. Oh god, those were the dark days, bro. Those are the dark days of uh, Dark Souls PvP. But there were also the Golden Days. Yeah, I don't have Warcry on this one. There's other axes where it has Warcry on it. But, honestly, like... Warcry? Uh, I mean, it's good, but I personally don't use it. Uh... What I usually do is I like to do jumping attacks. Jumping attacks is my favorite thing because it deals like a lot of damage, but you have to be smart with it because um, sometimes when you do use it, you're like open to get punished even though you just hit the guy. So say you do a jumping attack on the bro that just did like a quick attack, you're most likely going to get smacked because homie just recovered and is about to attack you again. So it's best to use jumping attacks and all that stuff on uh, attacks that have uh, higher, no, lower recovery. So I'm going to look up where to find better axes. Because I'm going to be honest, I want a better axe. So let's see. Let's go on Elden Wing Wiki. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a better axe. I got the battle axe right now. I want a better axe. Ninja Flip Havel. Dude, that, yeah, that was another thing. When people had their, um, whatchamacallit, what is it called? Adaptability, something like that, up very high. You can, like, walk normally in heavy armor and freaking, oh my god, and, like, use... Um, great swords. The one that you're talking about, that's Artorius's uh, great sword. Artorius's great sword. Which one? I think it's cursed. The cursed version is where he had you put the weapon in the offhand because lore, and you would press L2 and you do freaking front flip. Oh my god! In Havel armor, that's basically like it's fucked. It's super fucked. So. I want a bigger axe, right? Let's try Great Axe. How about Great Axe? I want bigger axes. So, right now, let's have a mission right now. Great Axe. <clears throat> I want literal Great Axe. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's do that one for now. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button, dude. You scrub, you hitting wrong buttons and shit. God damn it, bro. So yeah, let's go. Nah, that's Dark Souls 2. 
No, they had it in Dark in Dark Souls One. They had Artorius's sword in Dark Souls One, and you could do a flip. Yeah, yeah, that was in Dark Souls One too. Uh, in a chest. Was that the was that the same caravan that was up here? Cause if so, I freaking missed it. Have you played Armor Core 6? No, I've heard that people was waiting for that game. I've never played Armor Core. But, um, something that I've... Uh, oh, Adaptability was in Dark Souls 2. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. True that. Um, I'm not really into playing mech games, but... Oh, hello. Talkative, shut up with your nice knee pads. Hey, shut the fuck up. Shut Whereas up. I may there is, shut but I can up. Take gathering. You talk so Very much. Well, well, I guess I gotta go to the round table hold, bring my naked self in there as well. Yeah, touch my hand. Touch me. Yeah, that's my dominant hand, so you know what's good. Anyway, um, the only uh, mech game I've ever played honestly was virtual on on the sega saturn <laughs> on the sega saturn man oh i loved virtual on virtual on is such a great game Whew. i've heard they brought it back and it's like a different it's not regular virtual on it's like virtual on something else but yeah you'd argue melina doesn't talk enough I don't want to know about this one-eyed witch. I don't care. I want to slice people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's a bit too comfortable touching that naked man hand. Facts. I don't know if I want to touch a grown man's hand. He's butt ass naked. Butt ass naked. Oh shit. Well, I don't want to upgrade this because, first of all, I want, I want that great axe, and I think it's this area where I get it. So if I can get that. First of all, my strength is already going to be through the roof, so I'm going to have an edge. I think it's this one here. Yeah, man, virtual on. Oh, I said virtual, didn't I? It's virtua on. Virtua on. Yeah. I need to put my horse right there. There we go. All right, so I need to find that caravan with the ogres on it so I can go ahead and get that great axe. There they are. They're right there. You see them? Wait, no, that's a rock. That's a... <laughs> Trust me, I'm okay. There, right there. Yeah. yeah. So the, the way that you get them to stop is it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is run up and tap them. And there you go. They stop. Young Spidey, my dude! Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody chill. Jesus Christ. Can I get the can I get my axe? Can I get my axe? That's all I want is an axe! Shit! I just wanted the axe. Uh. Yo, what's up, Randy? I, I just got murdered trying to get an axe, but, oh, god damn it. To be fair, we're considered maidenless. Oh, man. I'd, <laughs> I'd also argue that we'll take anything than being called maidenless. That's a fact. I wouldn't want to be maidenless either, and it's a good thing that I am not maidenless. I have myself a maiden, and I'm quite lucky. Um, just talk to her like you can't- wait, what? You talk to her like you combo on her when dinner isn't on time. That is a crazy thing to say. This ain't the 50s. I ain't over here beating up on whammons, you know what I'm saying? I can get I can get the axe. Chill, 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 chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. It's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's get the hell up out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got my axe, you sons of bitches. Let's go. 
So I need 30 strength, but I can wield it with two hands because I'm naked, but I'm strong. So I can wield it with two hands, which is fantastic. Damn, that's some angry cop shit. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Young Spidey, that startled me. I was like, who was talking in the background? That's crazy. But yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for the, the, the smooth 10, my, my, my man. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Zay's gonna, gonna try to beat me up if I have somehow made him this. Striker on MK3 probably does that. You know, you're probably right. You're probably right. As, as unfortunate as it sounds, Striker is, uh... Isn't he the cop? Yeah, he's the cop. Yeah, that's the cop. Man, I haven't played that game in so long. So let's get some extra X XP, man. Let's go here. Let's go here. So we gotta make our way over there by teleporting. Because... Only scrubs walk. Striker from no, not that guy. He's he's lamer than Striker from Hell of a Boss. Dude, Strut bro, for all that haven't watched Hell of a Boss on YouTube, please do yourself a favor and do so. What a great series that is. I'm gonna die, aren't I? No. I'm okay. It's so fun. And the only reason why Zay and I know about it is because of a friend. A friend of ours got us into it. She was like, hey, ever heard of a show called Hell of a Boss? And we're like, no. And then she brought us onto it, and then the rest is history, dude. It's so fun. Have you played Hell Divers too? No. What is that? What is Hell Divers? Uh, personally, I don't mind a good Hell Dive. In fact, I've played. God of War and Dante's Inferno, so you could say that I have experience in diving headfirst into the depths of hell in general. But yeah, does the axe have good scaling? It has scaling in strength. Uh, the more you rank it up, I think when you rank it up all the way. Hold on. I think it will have an S in strength. Let me see. Oh no. That's weird. Oh, it has an A in strength if you put heavy on it. Okay, if you put heavy, which is really what I do anyway. I like to put heavy on it. Ooh, that does not a lot of damage. But it does poise damage to these guys. Other guy. Other guy. shooter game what is that oh hell divers is that what it is is it a co-op shooter because if it is yeah i definitely have never heard of it that spreads democracy you're spreading democracy i'll give it a check out for sure i'll give it a good old check out hell yeah Again, I'm always open to new stuff. It's one of the biggest games on Steam. Oh god, rats. Freaking rats. Ugh! Get wrecked, rats. Well, I don't really follow trendy games. I kind of just... Go with the flow with whatever. Well, not really. I mean, like if I if I explore something, then I'll usually find it. But I don't really like follow games like that. If I do find out about a game, it's a, it's probably on accident. Yun, who's Yun? Is that a Street Fighter term? 
core character. Is Yoon a Street Fighter person? I don't know if I can jump. Oh yeah, I can jump down here. Did you mean to say June? <laughs> you meant to say June, didn't you? Please say yes. Oh, Yoon. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is Yoon that guy that um, rides on a skateboard and he's like wearing a freaking white Chinese shirt and like green pants or something? Please make a sound clip with the music used for the fat rap video. Oh my god. How can I do that on YouTube? Like, I can't. See, this, this baseball cap skateboard, okay, yeah, is the same guy. There's a freaking dog in here. Oh, oh my sweet. Uh. Don't get clapped by a freaking dog. I'm gonna need you to chill. I'm naked, bro. You can't be hitting a naked man like that, bro. Anyway. Yeah, like, I don't see this is that what you want to say. That is a way. No, that is what Steam decks are for. I don't have a Steam deck. What that requires is me to have tabs open. Like, like tabs open on my internet browser just waiting for something crazy to happen and then I'll just play it but yeah like <laughs> if I do get one which I, I'm pretty sure I won't need but you know yeah it, yeah <laughs> I get what you're saying the opening song on Street Fighter 3 yeah, you know, that's, that's the thing about um, old Street Fighter games and fighting games in general. Some of them really have good music. Like, I still remember Street Fighter 4. Like, the opening song for that game was pretty cool. I liked it. Even though most of... Oh, I gotta go there. Most of people have banana hair. Ken. My workplace has a Steam Deck. That's a... Your, what? What does your job have a Steam Deck for? I would like to find out that reason. Why do you, why does your job have a Steam Deck? That's fascinating. Why why does your joint have a Steam Deck? Dragon's Dogma, Fight for the Future. Huh? What is everybody talking about? Uh That's another one of those trendy games, Dragon's Dogma. Nah. I prefer Elden Ring, honestly. Plus, I've heard Dragon's Dogma. Nah, never mind. It it's it's people's preferences. It's it preferences, you know what I'm saying? But that 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 would be one of my preferences. Yeah. You know. Ooh. And I swing, Grandpa. a lot of people like it. Um, that's weird. See, for Dragon's Dogma, they had a character creation demo, which I found quite weird. Like, why would you have a character creation demo? That feels like... That feels like a Twitter bait. Like, people putting their uh, creations on Twitter is like, hey, I saw one yesterday. I'm not lying. Someone made Lord Farquaad from Shrek. And I was like, man, what the hell? Someone literally made Lord Farquaad. And I was like, damn. Okay. Because I do love me some customizations. I'll tell you that. I, I really do love customizations. Which is why I thought Tekken 8 was going to be sick with the customizations. But come to find out, it's still limited. Which, you know, it is what it is. The game is fire? Really? Okay. That's cool. I mean, as long as people like it, I probably won't get into it myself, but as long as people like it, that's what matters. Alright, look. We're gonna fight another giant naked man. Alright, you ready? Naked versus naked.
my heaven attacks. What are you talking about? Heaven? Oh. Wait, I'm a demon right now. Did you see that damage? Oh, okay. We didn't have to step in. That's gonna hurt. First of all, I can't see because you're so big. Smash! He almost came 180. There's a talisman in this game that increases your uh, your charge attacks, and I kind of want to get that because for an axe run like this, it's good if you have um, that talisman because charge attacks. I think depending on your build, charge attacks can more so often do more damage than jumping attacks. So, just to test on this random freaking egg thing, let's do a heavy attack on this guy. That did two, that's a crab. Okay, first of all, we gotta get up out of here. I'm poisoned, by the way. Crab, go away so I can warp up out of here. Oh my god, the crab is coming over. <laughs> the crab is coming over. Okay, we're all good. No need to panic. All good. If you like Elden Ring, you like Dragon's Dogma. You know, I believe it. Oh God, here's this blue thing. Here's this blue thing everybody looked up on Rule 34. No thanks, lady. Leave me alone. Oh no. I can't talk to him because she put him to sleep with her weird dandruff. Fucked up. Uh, let's level up. Oh, she. See, this is messed up. Come on, man. She forces you to talk to her stupid ass. All right, fine. I gotta talk. To a pleasure. I am the I'm not gonna listen to you. Upon the talk of the word for the call for. Yes, I, I can call my horse Torrin. To the bells, summon them with spirit. Yeah, 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 Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Anyway. <clears throat> you should be one-shotting? Well, I will be once I upgrade my weapon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna do some damage on Margaret. Such a feminine name. I kind of want to um, get some souls to level up a bit. Have you guys gotten used to the fact that he's naked? If not, it's gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long one for you. Pause. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, man, I need more to get one level. Hmm. You know, I think I should be okay of enough of a level. You know what? I kind of want to get that charge talisman. Let's look it up. Uh, charge talisman. Hello? Oh, okay. Axe talisman. Uh, so I didn't miss wood. Yeah, let's get that real quick. Okay, it's in the miss wood. In the miss wood. So right her. Let's get it. Oh wait. I gotta get rid of all the waypoints. Alright, let's make our way over there. <clears throat> B 
But yeah, um, I guess I'll cycle on back to the Tekken thing. I do hope that they... It's so weird because Namco should really have learned from their past transgressions by now. It, it really doesn't make any sense that they haven't learned that, hey, we wrecked the game last time. Let's do better. No, they just they kept fucking it up. And it's just like, okay, well, you guys aren't serious. The bear woke up, so I'm getting up out of here. Whew. Yeah, I'm naked and, and yeah, uh, we good. All right, so this talisman enhances charge attacks. So this is what I want for my axe build. So with that, and um, I kind of want to get one more level. So let's uh, kill some dudes. Uh, preferably, you know what? Let's go up in here. Let's get some dudes up in here. Let's do it. I hope Kuma doesn't kill me, big ass bear. Get away from me. We good. No need to hurt me. But yeah, it... I really hope Namco just... fixes their stu stupidity. There's a good chance they're not going to. They're just gonna keep following suit and continuing what they're doing. He just gave a heart attack and opened the chest. Why? Oh. Do you think there's mimics in the... No. Yeah, there's no mimics. Mimics, that's another thing that I miss from Dark Souls, the mimics. Be Ow. Because what mimics did... Oh, wow. Well, there's my one soul. What mimics did is they force you to not trust anything. So, if you see a chest in a random location in a random castle, you kinda, it kind of makes you think twice a little bit. Because it could be a mimic, you know? And what Dark Souls teaches you is trial and error. And that's why it's a rage game, because a lot of people screw up and they hate me. Oh, this guy wasn't even attacking me, that's weird. I'm doing so much damage now. Yeah, we good now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, pumpkin man. Gotta kill the pumpkin man. Dark Souls games over and over and over. Ow. Excuse me, sir. You, you, you start to learn the tricks. You really pay attention to this old man is blocking the pumpkin dude. Look at this brave soul. He's blocking the pumpkin. But you kind of have the way, though. That's kind of. I wish there was friendly fire. Damn, no friendly fire. Hell. Ooh, chill, chill, chill. You wouldn't harm a naked man, would you? Let's see what the charge is. Ooh! Did you see that? Ooh! That's a lot of dab. Yeah, we'll be fine. I think I'm gonna swing this axe around for a while. But yeah, uh, Ryan, it teaches you to pay attention, because, you know what, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I forgot, these guys throw firebombs, and there's a big grown man that does bleed damage. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we'll, I'll go back to that another time. <laughs> we good on that. I necessarily don't need to go in there. But, what I do need to do is show this man what fall. So let's do that. All right, I'm back and I'm naked and I'm strong. Yeah, that's a good chunk of damage. Ooh, almost. Just take your time. Of course. X 
extending his combos, of course. And you kind of don't want to rush it. That was a ball. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Smash! God. Eight combos. Yeah. Be greedy. Oh, I'm so glad that whiffed. No. <laughs> no. Nice back step. Vortex. That sucks. That sucks. But that was a good try, though. That was a good try. Uh, it's a joke in your friends group that every first boss in every game is just Margit. Uh, yeah, I mean... Someone say Mishima? <laughs> yep. Margit is a Mishima. Totally kidding. He doesn't have a... If he had a wave dash, that'd be cool. I kind of want to break his poise more. Oh yeah, there we go. I missed the opportunity for a boss. times have I played through Elden Ring? Good question. Uh, I think I've lost count at this point. Uh, I would say five plus. But here's the thing though. I don't, I usually don't do new game plus because honestly there's no point. I used to do that in Dark Souls 2 and there was a point. Uh, but now I'm just like, eh, I don't really feel it in this game. So usually when I beat the game, I come back and just mess around and get souls and stuff. But, yeah. Have I ever played the Neo games? No, I haven't. I haven't played a Neo game before. I've heard that game was quite hard. Is that true? If so, that's pretty 
look at all these souls. I get to upgrade my strength like crazy. That's definitely what we're about to do. We're about to be strong and naked. Strong and naked. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four. I at least want to keep a little bit of cash. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Yeah. No. 30 strength. <laughs> 30 strength. Because I'm not sure if I can go to the round table hold and get another level for my axe. This thing is uh, plus three right now. Let's take this thing off and this thing off. We don't use magic here. Magic is forbidden. Magic is for scrubs. Okay? Don't use magic. We square up. We square up around here. So, let me go ahead and see if I can level up this axe. But, uh, Nihao is harder than Sekiro. I didn't like Sekiro. I did, uh, maybe I didn't give it a fair chance. Or maybe I didn't adjust too well. I think, because I have Sekiro, maybe I can play some Sekiro. How does that sound? Wow. Well, yeah. Maybe we can play some Sekiro. Oh yeah, I don't have uh, any stones. I got no stones. Back over in our mountain. What ashes of war I can put on this? So, with this axe, the ash of war that I would like to have is something that would make sense. No booty slam like uh, Mario Party 64. A determination. Ah. Uh, We'll just stick with the naked, naked base damage right now. Um, but yeah, uh, I could try to, I could try to play some Sekiro at some point. That sounds fun. I think I can give it a fair chance. Because back then, I kind of played it and I was like, eh, I'm not really used to it. But I think I can give it a fair chance. And plus it'd be... Fun to see me play something and possibly get the crap beat out of me. Everyone loves to see the crap get beat out of somebody. You lie if you say you don't. It's it, it makes it fun, I guess. So yeah, uh, let's try that next stream. Sekiro. How about that? Let's do some Sekiro laugh at how trash I could possibly be. But then again, that game teaches you how to parry, because you have to parry everything. I, I have played it before. What I've learned from Sekiro is you have to perfect parry everything. Because if you just block, you take chip damage. It's crazy. What was the, what was the best and worst year for gaming, in my opinion? Interesting. Well... Uh, um, it's very odd to answer. I'm not really sure because my realm of gaming was kind of, uh, condensed, in a sense. Uh, I can't really say the years that I've played Tekken 7 were the worst years. I think... I think, well, okay, I'll say the best years was about, like, two or three years ago. So, like, maybe 2001, 2002. When was Tekken 7 out? Anyway, probably, like, two or two years ago was good for gaming, at least for me. 2017? Okay. So, we in 24. So, 22. Please try Neo. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll try Neo. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it a good old try. But yeah, I would say maybe two years ago was good for gaming. Um, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's a very tough question because I don't really escape to all the games that everybody plays. 
So, my version of best and worst will most definitely be different than yours. Ooh, that did some damage. So that's a tough one. played any Battlefield games? I haven't either. I never played Battlefield. I've played mostly Halo. Halo is my thing. Call of Duty is not. Never like Call of Duty. And it, wait, what? Nihal lets you form your own playstyle and it doesn't force you like force you to parry like Sekiro. Okay, that's good. And it's got fist weapons that let you do martial arts. Ooh, that sounds cool. You a. Hey. For everyone that doesn't know me by now, hey, look at these guys. Little worm dudes. I like martial arts and I love games that do martial arts. I love talking about martial arts. I love practicing martial arts. I love martial arts. It is one of my favorite pastimes of all time. You know, it's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. I love every aspect. I love everything about martial arts, bro. Because it's so freeing. That's why I got into jujitsu first. Because it was like, it's such an interesting art. It's just like playing full body chess. If that makes sense. Because you're both trying to figure out, hey, how do I get you to get in this position so I can choke the life out of you? or bend one of your appendages it's so it's oh man it's 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 very addicting when you think about jujitsu in a certain type of way Ooh. or martial arts in general in a certain way it becomes a sort of uh, dopamine a good dopamine hit if that makes sense of course it makes sense Martial arts is super. Which is why I enjoy talking about Azusena's grabs because her grabs was one of the most accurate, for the most part, accurate representations of martial arts I've seen in a fighting game. Her and Dragon Ball. Everybody else is just like, eh, 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 whatever. I'm pretty sure there's some that have good representations, but yeah. You're an artist? What artist? What do you mean, Ryan? Because I know it ain't no martial artist. I know it ain't. I know it ain't. He was saying about the same thing about Tekken 8 feel? Yeah? Oh, then you know how Halo 5 made bigger maps to compensate for all the movement in Tekken? Like, the OG maps got bigger, but still took the same amount of time. Yeah, it's such a shame, dude, because I didn't like Halo 5, mainly because they changed the formula and everything felt weird. I didn't, I didn't vibe with Halo 5. Like, I didn't like the clamber, because it, it felt like Call of Halo. It felt like Call of Halo, that's why that in Halo Infinite. Both of those games feel like Call of Duty and so out of place that I couldn't really get into it. Yeah, yeah, see, so you understand. And plus the graphics, it looked weird. It looked like soap. Like, not in a good way. Like, it felt like Soap Fighter. The way that the physics looked like when the guy gets... I don't know, it's a weird game, it's a weird, it feels wrong, it feels dirty, you know, it, it don't, it don't feel right, you know, just because that, 
just because of that, I've stuck to the older Halo games. So I have Halo MCC, which has Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo Reach. And the games that I play is Halo Reach and Halo 4. But, ooh, maybe we can have a Halo stream so you can see how trash I am. Oh, see, I'm forming ideas of streaming already. I love it. Yeah, I definitely want to start doing different games, dude. Play SWAT and Customs on Halo 5. Yeah, SWAT is fun. Honestly, I can say with confidence that it's fun no matter what game you play, which Halo you play. Eh, okay, Halo 3 is a little weird. Ooh. A nice great arrow. He's telling me to get off of his lawn. Did you see that? That came very close. It's getting closer. Oh, dude, snipers, man. Don't get me started on snipers. Bro, I... Back in my day, when I played Halo competitively, I was a monster at snipers. Woo! Or at least I tried to be. I looked up to a lot of MOG people and tried to emulate the skill. Ooh, excuse me. Um, my most influential MLG person was probably Campy. If you guys have ever heard of Campy, uh, look him up on YouTube to get a feel for who I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, Campy was one of my inspirations for like going hard on uh, Halo and trying to get better and stuff. I'm still subscribed to his YouTube even though he he doesn't YouTube no more he doesn't stream on Twitch he's just gone and you know it's really sad when you have people that you're subscribed to that you've known for a long time and they just they just disappear then what's left of them what's left of like what they used to be is like stuck on a channel that's like a husk. It's cold. It's so cold. But, you know, I'll never unsubscribe because unsubscribing would be a betrayal. Personally speaking. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys have channels that don't upload anymore. Or maybe upload for one time and then wait like a year or something and then they come back and you're just like damn where have you gone you know stuff like that yeah it it it's it's heavy stuff like if you if you think about it it's pretty heavy cuz it's like damn i've known this person basically almost from the beginning then it's just like they disappear into the mist and it's like, fuck. Damn, dog. Where'd they go? Oh, young Spidey, uh, is this the character you're gonna use for Elden Ring DLC? That's a good question. I don't know if I want to be naked. You know what? This guy is named Chewy Bob. He can do anything he wants. He can be naked, he can be clothes, he can wear panties. Chewy Bob can do anything. So I'm probably going to be naked for the DLC. But we're going to be throwing these hands. It's going to be great. But yeah, yeah, Devil, it is worse when they come back and leave again. But I, I'd imagine, see, here's the thing that happens with a lot of people that do content for a long time. At least this is what I believe. There comes a point... I didn't realize I picked up a map. There comes a point to where... Not really... Where it's not fun anymore. It kinda just... I guess life just gets in the way and you can't do things anymore, man, you know? Cause with Campy, I'm not really sure about his personal stuff. You know, he... At the time where he was, like, kinda active. He was, you know, doing college stuff. Uh, 
he had a had a girlfriend at the time, I guess. Uh, I don't know if he maybe has like a family. You know, a lot of people uh, go away for a lot of reasons, but they don't really tell you. A lot of them don't tell you either, and I think that's the best way to do it. Because I like to get to know everyone that comes around, comments on my stuff as well, but... You know, you can share certain things, but it's it's cool to not get too personal. Because then you start to ride the line between a creator and a fan, I guess. It, it becomes a little too personal is what I'm saying. So, it's cool to, like, share certain things with the people that enjoy what you do, but... Not everything needs to be shared, is what I'm saying. Hey, look at this. Look at this person. Now let's go up in here and storm the t storm the capital. Let's go. Oh, gosh, that did Smack. Oh, okay. Ooh. Friendly fire. Ooh, get slapped, you stupid man. Look at all that magic. I'm stronger because my name is Chewy Bob. Take that. Okay, chill, 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 chill. I mean, you just chill. Calm down. Yes. Bow down to me, Chewy Bob. It is all right, my children. I won't harm you. Welcome to the Naked Legion. Oh, God. I'll come up with a better name later. You used to watch a bunch of raccoon eggs. I'm guessing that's a YouTuber. You remember this YouTuber called uh, Swing Point that streamed a lot of Back for Blood. I remember that game. When that game died, he just stopped uploading and didn't say a single thing. It's like he's frozen in time. See? And that's what I'm saying. Like, people have their reasons for leaving and sometimes they don't even let people know they just do it and honestly i feel i think you owe the people that follow you something something you don't have to tell people everything but you at least at least to a certain degree owe them something like, if I, if I left for, like, two years, I'd expect, you know, people to be like, I would like to get to a certain point to where people would wonder where I went. Um, because, you know, that's, that, you know, it's cool to have folks that come around and be like that, you know? Like, oh, man. I remember when this guy used to do this, where did he go? And then I come back and it's like, hey, what's up, y'all? It turns out, you know, I've been doing this and this while I was away. And, you know, everybody's like, yay, or whatever, throwing confetti and shit. But, you know, when you don't, when you leave people that care about your content in the dark, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. You know, when there's no explanation, it's just like, I'm gone, see ya. It's just like, damn, dog. It's rough. <laughs> oh, no. You said see you on the next upload two years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't mind them not uploading maybe for the community. Yeah, because... Because if, even if you're, I'm so glad community posts are a thing. Because, um, there are times where I don't do something and it's like I see something and I kind of want to let people know that I'm still, like, alive and, you know, not just abandoning post or whatever. And, you know, the people that see it, you know, they interact or whatever, but. I like to, uh. 
say I have a nice following, a nice group of people that come on by and, re and um, interact, and that's all I ever want. I'm not saying that I want 10 million subs, I mean, come on man, I'd, I'd have to be like some sort of gremlin to get that sort of following, excuse me, but I just, I just want a nice community of cool people that like to hang and talk shit. That's all I ever have. Some sort of naked menace, like this guy on the screen, fat. Naked menace. We're definitely naked and we're definitely malicious. Uh, yeah, dude, that's all I ever ask. Just, just come over and chill. If you don't ask about too much, just free support. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your grandma, <laughs> tell your grandma that I uploaded <laughs> another video. Man. Tell your grandma. Tell all your grandma. I'm gonna fight this freaking tree. <laughs> Don't tell your grandma I got one shot by a tree. Don't tell him that. Yes, I feel like whenever news comes back, I'm gonna be a top tier guide. I'm gonna be top tier for guides over. Dude, like. Back in my, like, I would say, higher points of when I used to upload Tekken 7 stuff, specifically Josie, it, I think I've done more, excuse me, combo guides and whatever for Josie than anybody that I have ever known. Anybody. Together, I think I've done 64 combo videos. Slash guy. 64. 64. I can pull up the actual numbers, but that's a lot. I mean, if you could just fathom how much. Dude, what'd you say, Graham? Graham Walter got one shot by a tree. Ooh, it almost happened again. I said, let me tell your grandma. Let me tell your grandma. Uh oh. at it at some point. I will. Trust me. I will. Don't you worry. Tarnished. Play it right now? That's crazy. Boy, mate. I'm the captain of this boat. When I say that I will, I will. But when that is You'll never know. I guess you'll have to stay tuned for the next episode of ETC. I don't know what that accent is, don't I I don't know, man. It was freaking a mix of British and something pirate. I don't know, man. I don't know. Questions yeah, don't whenever I do crazy stuff, don't question it. Because sometimes I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, have you have you guys heard of? I didn't know I died right there. Oh yeah, I did die to the tree. Um, have you guys ever heard of regular show? And if you have, you remember Muscle Man? I can do a pretty good Muscle Man impression. A pretty good Muscle Man impression. Like, it's legit. He's so stupid, his voice, man. Muscle man, bro. You don't, you don't believe it? Uh, you know who else doesn't believe it? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Muscle man, bro. 
muscle man. <laughs> uh, you know who else plays Tekken? <laughs> ah, good stuff. You there? C come over. Hello, here, time to die. What's it to Always you? kill this man. Always Stay kill this man. You Always. Always. If you play this game, always kill this man. You got a phone call as soon as you did it. Oh, you didn't even hear it? No. High five ghost? Hey guys, I'm high five ghost. I don't I don't know how he talks, but I forgot how he talks. It's kinda airy. CJ was best girl. Isn't that the cloud girl that Mordecai fumbled because he's retarded? And was going after Margaret like a freaking putz. Boy, I wanted to slap that bird so bad. Bro, Margaret is... Margaret is whatever, bro. Stupid bird. Like, bro, the, the freaking... The cloud girl was good for you, man. But no, you want to go after the stupid red bird. Fuck. What the... Oh, bird. Speaking of bird, there's a bird right here. You heard me talking shit? heard me talking shit about birds and he was like you see you fucking what mate damn yeah CJ got done wrong uh, you know who else got did wrong <laughs> muscle man bro but yeah CJ poor CJ bro man she was a she, I think CJ was a tomboy, if you could believe it. Was she like that sort of... Uh, maybe not tomboy, maybe she was just cool. Shut your trumpet. I think she was just cool. Yeah, I think that was the thing with her. She was just cool. And Margaret was like a piece of plastic. Wait, what did Ryan say? You sound like you're trying to fit in with the cool kids. Yeah, uh, yeah, what, what you mean by that, bruh? What you mean by that? I don't try to fit in at all. In fact, I don't like fitting in. I like doing the opposite. I don't fit in at all. I just do my thing, and if people vibe with it, that's what's good. Fitting in is whack. I don't recommend it. Why would you want to fit in? Fitting in is for people that's insecure, bro. Don't be insecure. Don't let them know your next move. Never let them know your next move. Nah, bro. Be original. Try your best to be original. Always. Oh, my muscle man impression? The explosion was loud? Damn. Well, it's probably loud because I have the volume... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> High five ghost impression is what he's talking about. Oh, because I, I probably sounded like Morty. I probably sounded like Morty. I got my five ghost. Yeah, I can't do his, I can't, I can't do his like whiny, wavy, airy voice. I can't do it. But yeah. I can do muscle man. Definitely. <laughs> Muscle man, bro. Alright, so we're gonna sneak in here and kick this guy's ass. Hey, bro. Mm, you ever heard of five gum? Mm. Hell yeah. I'm naked and I'm strong. Naked and I'm strong. Uh, what'd you say? Rigby de... Facts. <clears throat> Yo, Rigby, Rigby, got Rigby, Rigby got himself a keeper. Was it basically a girl raccoon that looked like no Lars? What? Ashira, you pop up in here and the first thing you say is no Lars. What does that mean? At what point have you ever known me to play Lars or enjoy anything Lars created? Not Lars created. Lars in general. What? 
Of course there's going to be no Lars. What you see here is a naked man. A nice try. Mm. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing naked man. His name is Chewy Bob. He's the, the, the best warrior you we have on the force. Chewy Bob Hazelnut. Uh, imagine having POV of that guy just minding his business in the dark and this guy disrespects and whispers <laughs> facts. Nice one break facts. Appreciate it, bro. I break these throws. Sometimes. Sometimes I break the throw. Uh, but you know who else breaks throws? Not my mom. She won't. She can't. She can't break throws. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no! I got shot out of the sky. Oh, oh I'm all the way bound. It's okay. I can make it back. Oh my god. I can't. Man, what the f. Had enough of my BS? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. All I did was talk in muscle man voice. And then he. G oh. You didn't have to kill me. Oh! Oh, you got to be joking. Bro, all I want is my souls. I ain't got time for this, bro. Yo, get out of my way, you're so fat. Stop throwing explosives at my face, bro. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, you're so fat. God damn. Oh, you better not. I can't believe I got anti-aired. What is this, Tekken 7? I can't believe it. No 2D jumping. Unbelievable. I got freaking tech... No one grab. I can't believe I got blunt out of the sky. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Fuck me. But it's okay. I made it back. I made it back. What was I even talking about before that even happened? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yo, you're gonna get your ass kicked for that. You're gonna get it, bro. Oh, we good. Oh, we not good. Look at all this. This is a fang player. Doing all this wind stuff. Get this shit out of here. You're not a fang player. You'll never be. Trash. You'll never be a fang player. <laughs> Tio! Now, see, something. Yeah. Something that I will say about fang is. Ah, uh, you. Uh, okay. I appreciate the way he sounds, like when he says Tio, Tio, it does sound cool, it does sound cool, but what I don't like about Fang is the fact that they turned him into an airbender, you fucking walk, why did they turn him into an airbender, this man literally jumps in the air, farts on the ground, and does like, guard damage or whatever, is what? What? Since when did Fang do that? Why? Why? Why does Fang fart on you? Why does he fart into plus frames? I don't accept the farting into plus frames. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, this guy blew the tushy trumpet, first of all. I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. Oh! I tried to anti-air and I did it. He hit me in the front from behind. That's some Tekken 7 shit. No, that's Brian's mock kick. You guys remember Brian's mock kick? It'll hit you it'll hit you in the front from behind. So like if you sidestep, he'll hit you in the back from the front. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Brian is so stupid. Your favorite sound is drag going. Are you are you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, when he does his heat smash things. God. PTSD, man. PTSD. Man, drag players are so... It's like you want to perform disciplinary action on drag players, but you can't. 
that's how I feel about drag players. Like, you want to, like, pull your belt off and, like, you know, this is not healthy. But you can't do it. You can't do it. So you have to sit there and look at them uh, hyperventilate in your face and activate heat. It's fucking... God. Dragon of man. Ah, uh, Dragon of gets on my nerves. I can't stand. I can't stand. I can't stand a drag. It's, it's not my vibe, bruh. I, I do like his, like, some of his moves, like his grabs or whatever, but, like, facing bird, 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 kill the bird, kill the bird, kill the bird, kill this goddamn bird, kill the bird, he's so strong, come here, goddamn, got the bird, Look at this bird! He's performing acrobatics. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, the birds are the birds are so strong in this game. Drag is cool. Uh, Armor King, Crash Dash One, Jesus Christ, Sambo King. I'm telling you. Ooh, I thought that bird was coming. He <laughs> ran into a devil. No, devil! Don't talk about that. Your name is literally Devil, bro. You want to talk about drag? Uh, uh, devil Jin? Oh my God. First of all, Devil Jin is such a crock of nonsense. Bro, they broke that character. His heat burst or whatever it's called, he literally flies at you at 760 miles an hour. And then he tracks you and kills you. He, you like, if you sidestep, he's coming at you. Oh, did you just shoot me, sir? So, like, I'll give you a visual demonstration of what it's like facing a devil gen in here. I'll give you a visual. I'll give you a visual. Hold on a sec. Let me make sure I'm safe. I'll give you a visual. <laughs> I'll give you a visual. Alright. So, imagine... <laughs> so, imagine... Dragon of... Oh no, Devil Jin is in heat, right? The camera is you. And this freaking shark is Devil Jin. So just imagine you sidestep and then he activates his heat. You go this way and, and Devil Jin is like, Gah! and he freaking destroys your spinal cord. And there's nothing you can do because he's tracking you. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, just imagine you take us one step to the side, and he's just like, ah. It's like, man, man, we we gotta do something better, bro. We we gotta fix this. That's how it feels to fight Devil Jim at any moment in time. Yes, it does track. Heat stuff tracks. Heat tracks like activating it tracks. Uh, deploying it tracks. And let's not uh, detract from the fact that when you activate it, it has ghost range. So, like, if you're standing here and they're here, they will hit right here and it'll still hit you for some reason. It's ridiculous, bro. Namco over here worrying about the stupid, stupid Tekken store and Eddie and his freaking generic black male NPC number four haircut. To, to address these issues, bro. It's like, god damn. Ooh, my jump attack. Yes. So, this, this talisman, as you can see, it enhances my jump attacks. So that's good for axe. Uh, charge attack and jump attack. So I'm pretty much good for this run. All I gotta do is just, you know, upgrade my axe and... Excuse me, we good. Do that one more time. You really want to see that again? <laughs> All right. All right, bro. So, like I said before, you're sitting here fighting. You're fighting a, a devil gen. He activate. He, a he activates heat. He goes, "Ish get again," you know, whatever. And then you're standing there, and then you try to step to the side, 
And then he's just like, ah! and then he kills you for like 10 million damage. Oh my god, he fell. That's how it feels to fight Devil Jin in heat. I'm telling you, it sucks. It sucks so bad. It sucks. I hate it. Ugh, get it out of here. Get it out of here, man. I never liked heat to begin with. Like, why Why is everybody a cat? Why is everybody in heat? You actually got the cake. Yo, Brian, chill, bro. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. But yeah, that's, that's how it feels to uh, fight Devil Jin for real. No, don't ask him that question, Devil, because he's going to answer. Like, j j forget it. J forget it. All right, uh, talking about Devil Jin over here, bro. You're talking about how much he sucks to fight against. Oh, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a real fan of Devil Jin, bro. That's crazy, Brian. That's crazy. You wild him for real. You wild him. Uh. <laughs> Yo, yo, young Spidey. Hey, look. I do my best, man. I do my best. I don't try to put on no show for nobody. Like, besides what I just did. But Yeah, everything you see, and that's all me, bro. I appreciate that you think that's funny. Because <laughs> I sure did. That was the first time I ever did an impression of Devil Jin in that fashion. So I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Because that's how it really feels. You're getting munched on by Devil Jin. In heat. It sucks. <laughs> God, man. Man, I'm glad that this stream is going so well. It's it's very fun. We had the peak POV. Yo, chill, bro. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all need to chill before Zay come up in here and attack y'all, bro. She is a mod. Don't get shot. I don't know. She might join in. God damn it. No, in fact, she might join. Was there a joke character that was broken in Tekken? Yes. Lucky Chloe. Well, her damage was broken. Her as a character wasn't broken, but she had broken damage. Leroy was oh, less of a joke than her. What did I just hear? Oh, I think that was the freaking... The donation. That's so funny. Why is it so late? But, um... Yeah, uh, Leroy was more of an insult because the way that they marketed him, they marketed him, ironically enough, as a rabid dog. Because that's how he was marketed. And then they already had prepackaged uh, nerfs for him because he's a guinea pig. So not only was he a rabid dog, he was a guinea pig to begin with. Because they already had the patches for him. They already had the patches for him. So they knew that he was going to be crazy. It was just like, ah, you know, let's just do this. Uh, Negan? Negan was, well, Negan was definitely a weird addition. I think that was the most out-of-pocket addition to Tekken besides Akuma that they've ever done. Like, why the hell did you put Negan in the game? This man literally is a grown man that is, uh in The Walking Dead that just swings a bat around. He's just a man. But yeah, I had a knee on. It was the uh, voice for the actual Negan in the show The Walking Dead. So like when he gets heat hit, he says, God damn! And he says, what the shit? And it's, it's, it's beautiful. It is a masterpiece. I actually do miss it. I played him a little bit. I was trolling people by just hitting the two button, just hitting them with the hilt of the, the bat. It was fun. But yeah, Negan was cool, despite him being a very far-fetched choice. Very far-fetched. It was good. Oh, he blocked it. Oh my goodness. No! I didn't roll in time. Now they're popping off. Oh my god, they're popping off. Ultra, do you remember? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was talking about. The Negan mod. Yeah, Negan was fun to play. Oh yeah, the bonk. Dude, oh my god.
My souls are all... <sighs> fuck it, y'all ready for a speed run? Oh, fuck it. Play the Josie Cook music? What does that mean? Negan plays the game for you, but now it doesn't seem so bad since all the characters in Tekken 8 do it for it. Yeah, because Tekken 8 is literally an arcade game that you would find in Dave and Buster's. Or Chuck E. Cheese, or anything of the sort. It's literally a weird arcade game that you can't take seriously. There's so much anime, there's so much blinding lights, there's so much... There's so much stupidness, stupidity in it, it's just, you can't take it seriously. You really can't. Oh, I'm alive, okay. We good, we're pro. So, like, what just happened on my screen is exactly what happens in Tekken 8. Everything blows up, lock in, get the money back, I'ma try. At this point, I'd rather fight Negan and Noctis than Victor and Reyna. Well, oh! Listen, listen, sir. Sir. Oh. Wow. Sparta! Sparta! Get your behind off the ledge. Sparta! Sparta! This is Sparta! Yes! <laughs> Did he die? No, he's still alive. Oh my god, they're all coming for me. Alright. Y'all need to chill. Tech the grab. Yeah, y'all need to chill real quick. That felt very satisfying, kicking that grown man off the ledge. But yeah, I need to get my money back. That's insane. I haven't touched a bonfire in forever, and I need to get my money. So it's time to lock in. Oh, get juke, scrub. What the fuck? Get juke. I cannot die. Hey, nice trumpet, dude. I hope nobody fucking throws stuff at me. Oh! I'm alive! Oh! <laughs> oh. I thought I was dead. Oh my god. Oh, you guys, <laughs> you don't realize how badly I like clenched up. I did that on purpose. I'm glad you think so, because I definitely didn't. <laughs> that was so scary. Whoo. Whoo. Ain't no way. Mm, mm, mm. That was so scary. Not gonna lie. Thought that was it. I gotta go over here. I gotta get my money back. That's crazy. I can't believe I lost that cage, cage match to those two men. That's madness. Whoo! Alright, so we ha I have to kill these guys. I have to kill these guys. So they're gonna follow me. Then it's GG's. So I have to kill them. I have to kill everybody. They're gonna kill me, and then I'm gonna have a bad time. Take this! I beg your pardon. I'm way too naked to be taking damage. Do not touch me. Oh, yeah. Should be good. Mm, take that. Where's my money, goddammit? Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my goddamn money? There it is. Hey, big dog. Merry Christmas. You're next. Lock in. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Let's go. 
Oh, that felt so much better. Woo! That felt so much better. Getting sweet revenge. Just like getting that sweet revenge on that scummy Anna player earlier. God, dude, and people... Listen, man. Oh, Nina is one thing, dude, but... Do people not realize... The, the disasters of adding Anna Williams now in Tekken 8? You look at Tekken 8 and tell me... Is this really what you want chaos to be unleashed in? I don't think you. I don't think you want that. Uh, people just want her because they're horny and love the way her stupid hair is cut. Cause her hair is trash. Like her s salon person, like fucked her up. They messed her up. They 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 said to hell with it. I'm gonna mess you up. They they really did. She, had, she looks like a gumdrop. Her hair looks so... She loves... Lady Gaga is like her favorite artist, and she wanted to emulate her hair, right? So she looks like a gumdrop on purpose. She looked like trash in Tekken 7, dude. Come over here. Let me talk to you real quick. Man, get your ugly ass away from me. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a bonfire right now. But, yeah, Anna in Tekken um, 8 is a bad idea, and I do not recommend Mm-mm. Nope. Don't need that in my life. Nah. You good? If I see Anna... Oh, God. Oh! There's so many men. I'm going this way. I don't care that there's a giant cat right there. I need a bonfire now. Oh, my ass! Oh, no, he got my calf muscle. Oh, my calf! Look at my calf! It came out of my knee. Oh, my freaking calf. She went to a different barber. Bro, I don't know who she went to, but Anna got messed up. Uh, you know who else got messed up? Not my mom. She looks great. She looks great. But yeah, Anna looks... Oof. Anna looks like trash. She plays like trash. I, no, her sister is enough. Her sister has a gun. Can you imagine? Anna's gonna have a rocket launcher shooting unblockable rocket launchers that track. No. No, we good. We don't need that. No, no, no. No, we good. Cat! There's a cat. I'm running away from the cat! Oh, the cat! Kitty! Bad kitty, bad kitty! I'm too naked. No. Naked and afraid. Bye bye. We good. Oh god, it's time to lock in. Oh. Ultra instinct. Oh, we locking in. Oh. Whoo. I wasn't worried for a second. Later, losers. Woo! God, not the rats. Anything but the goddamn rats. Oh! Cheating rats. Oh, there's men behind me. <gasps> there's men. Oh, just a man. Oh, nice throw ass. Oh! <laughs> The rats. Oh. Homing missiles. No way. <sighs> Damn it. The rats was in cahoots with that guy. Oh, come on. I can't let that slide. I can't let that slide. You gotta die. I'm gonna get my money back. I gave my money. That was a lot of. That that was. Oh shit! I gotta lock in. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I gotta do this again. Ooh! Ultra instinct did not activate. Oh! 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 Ha! Ha! Oh!
I lost all my money, bro. God damn it. Oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, Ultra Inst Man, damn. See? Well, I got nothing to lose now. Damn it. That sucks so bad. I had 14k, bro. Do you know how much strength I could have gotten with that? And I just took a big fat L for no reason. Get out of my face, you goofy. I'm climbing up here. I should have climbed up here to begin with. Damn it. That sucks. Man. Oh! I've already lost my money. What more can you take from me? Nothing. Alright, I'm gonna grab this bonfire up here after running through all these grown men. And then I'm gonna probably... Ooh, somebody got murdered. Nice. Oh! You can't jump! White men can't jump. Run, bro, run! There's a fat man behind you. Here he comes! Psych! <laughs> nice. Okay. I think here is a good place to stop. I've been well over three hours. Hell yeah. This is a good stream. Uh, so, between what we were talking about before, so you have three choices now. For the next stream, would you like to see more Elden Ring? Naked Axe Man? Let, let's put the bonfire in front of his crotch, because, you know, you don't want to see no balls. Anyway. Elden Ring? Uh, Sekiro? Or this intruder thing that Ryan won't shut up about. Which one? Which one? Which one? Because I'm down with either. I don't care. I'm down with it. Because this this intruder, of course Ryan would say intruder. Third option. Intruder. Damn, two for intruder already? Holy shit. That's crazy. Feel like I don't say intruder, but it's gonna show up in your not Jesus Christ. So that is so that's three for intruder. That's madness. Damn, nobody wanna see no Sekiro or, or more naked man? Okay. Alright, cool. I'll I'll see what intruder is, I guess. Um and I guess the next time I stream, uh Yeah. I'll put it up on the screen with no spoilers because I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. I can't level up because I got killed. Damn it. Please start on stream. Alright. Alright, Int intruder it is. Next stream. So, until then, hey! I'll catch y'all on the next stream. Intru intruder. Uh, have a good night, guys. Wonderful stream. Thanks for coming out. Oh, and smiles. Smiles. Remember, smiles. <laughs> smiles.